atmospheric heating and warming sea are fuel for hurricanes, causing them to increase in power, such as many of the high category storms we have experienced of late. Hurricanes Mitch, Stan, and Felix are a few that have had significant impact within the region. High air temperatures have also resulted in severe droughts in the region. Another grave problem related to climate change is the reduction of fresh water for human consumption. But water shortage is not our only concern. Food shortage of products from the sea will force massive migration to the cities, creating new social problems through rings of poverty. Another effect of global warming could be an increase in diseases such as malaria, dengue, and yellow fever due to an increase in temperature. This increases the reproductive rate and dispersal range of the mosquitoes that transmit these diseases, thus exposing more people to them. We could also find 30% more cases of childhood asthma and an increase in other respiratory diseases in elderly people. We are running out of time. Okay. Anteriormente eh, los cambios eran más paulatinos y eran más prolongados, es decir, la temporada de invierno duraba más tiempo y la transición era menos drástica. Ahora eh, en pocos días uno puede estar con un clima muy cálido y de repente se viene una tormenta tropical que trae eh, vientos bastante frescos y eso eh, provoca daños en la en las vías respiratorias, sobre todo de los niños. Bueno, por el aumento de las tormentas hay aumento en las aguas anegadas también, ¿verdad? Ha habido una proliferación de zancudos, vector tanto del dengue como del dengue hemorrágico. What is the position of governments of this region in response to concerns expressed by climate witnesses? Eh, la gran mayoría de las veces siempre le echamos la culpa a las autoridades porque pues de alguna forma ellos son los que administran el recurso. Pero yo creo que la mayor responsabilidad recae en las personas que lo explotan. Porque si nosotros nos ponemos en un plan para conservar, yo creo que la autoridad, lo poco que está haciendo, sí, sí podría funcionar. Pero si nosotros también, en vez de que ayudemos a esto, también hacemos lo mismo, no, no vamos a lograr nada. How can we, the human and natural systems, cope under the changing climatic condition? World Wildlife Fund recommends that we work together to ensure that our ecosystems remain intact while at the same time promote environmentally sound development activities. Sustainable development is the only way that we can ensure a clean environment and a good future for our children and grandchildren. For example, mangroves should not be cleared for development. We need an increased awareness on the effects of climate change and other issues, and we need to find a rational balance between progress and conservation, respecting our planet as a living entity. We need to minimize the effects of our daily activities on the planet and learn to adapt intelligently to climate change. We need to encourage cleaner production industries and renewable energy exploration. The Mesoamerican region possesses mangroves, seagrass beds, and the second longest barrier reef in the world. Combined with the warm spirit of the people and cool Caribbean breeze, the region is considered a true paradise. However, as awe-inspiring our scuba diving, fishing and submarine adventures may be, they are at serious risk with the threat of climate change. We must act now if we are to maintain the current goods and services for present and future generations. No dejar los cerros abiertos. Reforestar, reforestar y reforestar. Reciclar, reciclar y reciclar. Ahorrar energía y usar más la bicicleta. Comprar bombillas fluorescentes. We must adapt to global warming in order to manage our lives without damaging our planet.